Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, candidate in the St. Paul's Provincial by-election in Ontario. And this is an article about the first two debates where the Rogers debate televised is going to have all the major candidates in the formal debate and the little guys get to make a comment after. And in tonight's debate is going to have voters who are requested to put the question to only four people out of the group so that to pick one minor candidate, you'll have to exclude one major candidate. Well, I've objected to both formats. We'll find out what happens. 70th election contested in St. Paul's, Ontario, by election, Friday, September the 4th, 2009. I wrote, on Thursday, August the 3rd, Johnny Engineer Termel registered to contest my 70th election campaign in the Ontario by election in the running of St. Paul's in Toronto. Meetings are being organized, and I'll be posting videos of the whole thing at MySpace since the 10 minute format at YouTube, King of the Poppers channel, won't do. But you'll be able to find everything via my index page at johntermel.com slash kotp.htm. At the very moment, I can raise the issues of one, Parker versus the Crown in the Ontario Superior Court to have all marijuana prohibitions declared still invalid since at least Terry Parker Day, pursuant to the Interpretation Act, that's Paul Cola. Two, Termel versus the CRTC at the Supreme Court of Canada on the courts letting media exclude candidates from election debates. And I just got an invite from Rogers for minor candidates to do a one-minute taped statement to be shown with the debate, formal debate, of the Big Four. Dale Goldhawk is the organizer of the undemocratic atrocity. Three, Turner at versus R at the Supreme Court of Canada for being railroaded by a non-perfected appeal process. First time they ever dismissed an appeal because the guards couldn't find a prisoner. And of course, can I convince the voters that the Toronto dollar is a good idea for them all to invest in and that the Dragon's Den guys who do not buy in for their 10% profit supporting their communities lose to the King of the Dragons. Need a, I just have to tell people to search YouTube for King of the Dragons Den and the deal they were offered comes up. You have to decide if you think it's a good idea. And then watch and see if the CBC fire breathers went home to do some homework to catch a good bet or whether everyone's going to know they blew their decision. Remember, just like calling a bet with underlay odds is an error that costs you expected value, not calling a bet with overlay odds is also an error that costs you expected value. I put a winning proposition to them, and now we have to see if they had the brains to take the bet. Especially the one who saw where the 5% profit would come from in the Berkshire system. If I'm asking him to finance one in his community, I guess I don't mind him setting up his own premium too. And Pittsburgh was offering 11% premium to keep trade local. Maybe the 10% I suggested be used isn't so unreasonable. But if he caught on to his profit at 5%, I wonder what he's going to do when he realizes he can also profit at 10%. Ah, beautiful suspense. From the brutal with the engineer who dared challenge me in my specialization, to the sublime with only a nudge from 5% to 10% to perhaps start the debt liberation revolution like in Canada like it's spreading around the world. So the dragon story covers the money reform angle, that's my usual forte. Every problem caused by shortage of funds, I'll explain how to use the Toronto dollar system to fund the shortage. Finally, as I made fun of girly man Governor Musclehead Arnold Schwarzenegger for not doing like governors in Argentinian provinces who use small denomination interest-free bonds as currency, I'll be able to make fun of girly man Premier Dalton McGinty for not using provincial bonds especially with his being an Ottawa boy, that he's heard me explain how interest-free financing would work for the past 30 years, and it still hasn't penetrated yet. This is going to be one hell of a fun election campaign. Next article, September 10, and I titled Termel, Crooked Debate Moderators in St. Paul's By-Election as Usual. I'm running as an independent candidate in the St. Paul's Ontario Provincial By-Election in Toronto and received this invitation from the Rogers Cable Network. Goldhawk Live says on Monday, September 14th, Goldhawk Live will be taping an all candidates debate for the St. Paul's riding. All candidates debate that I can't participate in, not the debate part. 
The debate will be taking the taping will be taking place four and five p.m. at Rogers TV at eight fifty five York Mills Road. Candidates representing the PC, Liberal, NDP, and Green Party will be involved in the formal debate. All other candidates will be featured in the last portion of our program and will be given the opportunity to voice their pitch for a duration of approximately one minute. Democracy in Canada, you know, new ideas get one minute. The same old four get the whole debate. Candidates who are interested in participating in Goldhawk Live must confirm before September 7th. I did. Details regarding directions and parking to be sent. So I said, this is the typical cheating going on. Build up the prestige of the favored candidates while denigrating the disfavored candidates as unworthy of equal attention. Same four all the time. Nothing much new ever. Anyway, since I'm in the Supreme Court right now challenging the CRTC decision, the media don't have to include all candidates in debates anymore, the R versus CBC Vezina decision, where the Ontario Court of Appeal ruled debates didn't have to include everyone. So they don't have to even give me my minute anymore. There's nothing I can do while the court has ruled that excluding candidates is still democratic, other than my current challenge in the Supreme Court of Canada. But what are the odds of the Supreme Court of Canada judging the exclusion of candidates from debates a serious issue worthy of their consideration? Probably not much. Right after Big Brother announced they were fixing the game for the televised debate, I get another fixed game announcement from Brian Baker, towncrieronline.ca. Format of the Town Crier debate for September the 10th tonight. Dear attendees of the candidates' debate, Attached is the format at the Unitarian Congregation Church, 175 St. Clair West in Toronto. Any questions, contact me. So the format was equitable until they got to the question period where voters would be forced to select four candidates out of the 11 to respond to the questions. Why not five or three candidates? Imagine three having to exclude one of the big guys every time. <laughs> Could it be because there are the big four and the rest of us? Could it be... Anyway, I objected and CC'd mail copies to the other candidates that said, I think limiting the questions to only the usual big four is wrong. All candidates should be treated the same, and the audience should not be encouraged to treat us differently. One other candidate responded from Marius Frederick. He said, you're correct. Yesterday I had to talk to Sick Lady News about only mentioning the four Main Street candidates. Well, I said, get used to being not mentioned. That you can't correct, but don't get used to being excluded. The organizers have created an exclusion mechanism for the audience to use since they can't restrict all questions to the four favored parties themselves. When I'm excluded from a question, I leave the stage and pass out my flyers. Quite a disruption until I'm invited to participate back on stage with the others. And of course, the pressure has to be put on the big four. If they won't participate in a crooked format, the format changes. If they will, Big Brother wins. It's the big four favorites who are the bad guys for taking the unfair edge, not only the crooked referee for giving it to them. Start pressuring the big four to get us all on the Rogers debate. I've been on with 10. We can be on with 11. So, then I get another letter from Brian Baker at the town crier saying, we've limited it to any four candidates at a time for the sake of expediency with the allotted time we have for the debate. I apologize if it was not made clear. Voters can direct their questions to any four candidates, not just the Liberal, PC, NDP, or Green. Best. Yeah, yeah, best after giving me the shiv. I wrote back. Uh, it was made very clear. To include one of the small party candidates forces the voter to exclude one of the big party candidates. Voters should not be put in a position of having to prejudice the debate. 99% of other debates I've attended permit all candidates the same treatment, responding to all questions together. I see no reason and no expedient worth turning it into an exercise in failed democracy. I can tell you that in the past, when I've been excluded from a question, I leave the stage and go pass out my literature until I'm invited back on stage to respond. I won't sit there like a lump on a log while the same four candidates keep getting asked all the questions. And why not five candidates? Or three? I can also tell you in the past, when all candidates agree that all the candidates should be treated the same, we are. So I expect my opponents, 
all to endorse letting all candidates answer all questions. We'll take a straw poll tonight, tomorrow night. So tomorrow night we find out if the favored candidates are going to stand up to the moderator for the disfavored candidates, equal participation in the questions. In anticipation of whether the favored candidates will stand up to Rogers for the disfavored candidates in the equal participation of the whole debate telecast. We can't expect the CRTC or the courts to tame Big Brother. We can only hope our opponents have the sportsmanship to not accept such an unfair court-approved flaw in the Canadian democratic process. When the favored candidates refuse to accept the unfair advantage, there's nothing for Big Brother to do but open the show. Hope the cops don't have to be called. At least I'm not on probation anymore if they do. Nyuk, 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 nyuk.